A bill to increase minimum wage in Virginia has passed the state house and senate. With all that's left now is the governor's signature to sign it into law. I spoke with one local business owner who says the bill could do more harm than good for the region. Peaks down, can I help you? Carmine Graziano is the longtime owner of Pizza Town in Lebanon, Virginia. He says recent inflation hasn't made being a small business owner easy. We took a different approach to it. So instead of like really doing a huge increase to offset the cost of the product, we're trying to keep costs low to get more business. So that, you know, that helps me keep employees if I stay busier than, than we would be if I raise my prices. But Graziano says if the new minimum wage bill passes, things could be up in the air. Food cost doubling in cost and uh, utilities, electric, everything going up. Uh, I mean, it's just going to be tough to make it. You're going to have to do some, bu some budget cuts or employ layoffs that I'm not in favor of doing. The current minimum wage in Virginia is $12 an hour. If the bill is passed, it would be $13.50 an hour by 2025, and by 2026, it would be raised to $15 an hour. Those workers need a raise. Dustin Keith is the chair of the Russell County Democratic Committee. We need to make sure that they have at least um, what they can uh, do to afford the basic cost of living. Virginia delegate Israel O'Quinn worries about the impact it could have on small businesses. In the end, I do think it's going to be certainly burdensome and at the very least much more expensive for small business owners in southwest Virginia to have to absorb um, two, two large increases over the next two years. Small businesses are critically important and we want to do what we can to make sure that they have the resources that they can to pay their workers. But also, it's important to acknowledge that the majority of workers, even in small towns like here in Lebanon, um, work for massive corporations. Do you believe this will get vetoed at the desk? I can't speak for the governor. Uh, I know that, that he's certainly keenly aware of, uh, of, of the, the pressures that small business has been facing in Virginia. Until then, Graziano says he plans to keep operating day by day. I mean, most of my staff that's here have been here for years, so I don't want to turn my back on those guys and, and put them out, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we're just doing the best we can with what we got to work with.